Hi, this is Charlie from Deneke. Let's talk about the TS3. Okay, the TS3 runs on six AA batteries. Uh, it goes on this holder. Basically, negative goes to the spring side, and they're all in series. Uh, this is a plus, and this is a minus. It, you insert the batteries into this battery compartment, and uh, plus side up. If you reverse it, it won't hurt anything. It just simply won't turn on. So we do that. On the back, we've got an on-off switch, a three-position brightness switch. But before we do that, what you need to do is, if you look at the rotary dial here, the rotary dial selects the frame rate you're gonna be using. In this case, we're set to position zero, which is 30 frames per second. And it's matching the time code that's coming out of the audio recorder I have here. Uh, the gray toggle switch would be in the up position to generate, in the down position to be as a reader, uh, and that's basically about it. Uh, with the slate off, we feed it external time code. So we got external time code, 30 frames per second coming in, and we simply turn it on. It sees the time code and jams to it. Now we're time of day, uh, matching time code that's coming out of the recorder. Closing the sticks freezes the time code for about four frames. It's difficult to see with the eye, but plenty for the camera to capture. And then the numbers you're seeing are the user bits, which happen to be today's date. It's got a three position brightness switch. This is low, this is medium, and this is high. And that's about it. Uh, <clears throat> one of the features of the TS3, if we backtrack a little bit, is if we happen to be set at a different frame rate that's coming in from the recorder. In this case, I set it to 29.97. We're gonna feed it 30 frames. Once again, it's still off. Feed it external time code. Turn it on and it's gonna give us a sync error 29, I'm sorry, a sync error 30 message because this is set at 29. The recorder's putting out 30 frames per second and it's saying, okay, there's a frame mismatch here. I'm gonna warn you about it. So here we go. Sync error 30. So that should alarm you that there's a frame mismatch. And in this case, it's gonna drift apart from the recorder. The most commonly asked questions for the TS3 are, uh, am I missing a magnet? Basically, as you can see, we have a magnet here and to the right of it is a, what's called a Hall sensor. It's a magnetic switch that signals the, the slate that the sticks are either open or closed. Uh, a lot of people see this and think they have a missing magnet. While we're in the subject of Hall sensors, another common question is, well, I close the sticks and the numbers keep rolling and it doesn't turn off as this one has. Basically what that means is that this Hall sensor has gone out and needs to be replaced. Another common question is, how much battery life do we get out of a slate? Uh, basically it depends on what brightness setting you're on. Uh, if obviously the high brightness display setting is gonna use more battery life. Uh, medium is gonna use slightly less and low will use, of course, the least. A uh, common trick really is keep the sticks closed in between takes and that's the minimum power and uh, longer battery life. So it can last anywhere from a couple of days in the highest brightness to over a week in low brightness. Next question is uh, what are cables do we need? Uh, it varies on the time code output, but as far as the input is concerned, we use a quarter inch mono jack on the slate. Uh, we use, uh, so you would use a, a, a quarter inch mono plug, tip is time code, sleeve is ground, and the other end will depend on what audio recorder or master clock you're using. Uh, normally when you jam sync the slate, uh, the user bits are derived from the external source, usually set as a date. If for whatever reason the slate loses sync because it's been turned off or just simply some, there's an issue with it, when you close the sticks, the user bits default to 00, zero code followed by a number. In this case, the number is 30, which represents it's been running at 30 frames per second. If it was set to 2997, for example, it would say 00, zero code 29. And all that is basically is letting you know that it's no longer uh, running on 
a synchronized external code, it's running on internal code, so you're out of sync. Above the quarter inch jack, we have a four pin uh, male XLR used for external power. Pin one is ground, pin four is plus DC in the range of uh, six volts to 18 volts DC. Uh, when using external power on a slate, you must remove the internal batteries or they will explode, they're not protected. So if you have any questions regarding this or any other Denneke product, please feel free to contact us at denneke.com or any of our dealers.